The frontal lobes are partially destroyed, causing the patient to experience bouts of uncontrollable rage. The patient's steel prostheses render him dangerous to those around him. And that's about your seizures. Due to the incidence of temporary insanity, the patient is immersed in a surreal psychedelic reality that prevents him from accepting the consequences of his aggressive behavior. Uh, I don't get it. Can you translate for me? You're not gonna like it. The patient experiences intense hallucinations. Did you see your wife again, my boy? How? How did you know that? Yet a Voskhod implant will give the patient artificial memories and allow him to overcome his obsession with his deceased wife. Your wife. It's all bullshit. I've never been married. With Voskhod, we can send the agent's consciousness into the imaginary world of Limbo via a pulse aimed directly at his pituitary gland, switching the Major into combat mode on command. I'd like to add that I am strongly opposed. What a load of crap. I mean, there's no fucking way. I'm afraid there is. Sachinov can send your mind to your own private paradise with the push of a button. And my body? Your body will kill whoever he tells it to. Fucking horseshit. What about the hallucinations? Are they also setting off? No. The hallucinations are just your brain's defense mechanism. <sighs> Why the hell should I believe any of this? The boss would never do this to me. Yeah, right. Just like he'd never wipe your wife's existence from your memory. Just like he'd never designed Collective to be a mind control system. Who said Sechenov did any of that stuff? You can't even tell who's in that chair. If you don't believe me, go ask him. What's the plan, Major? He's waiting for us at Chelome. If we want to stop Sechenov, we'll have to string him along. So you bring me there as your captive? And then what? And then we play it by ear. So that's how it is, Major. Think it over while I try to hack this elevator and get us back to the surface. Uh-huh. Paying attention now, dickbag? Major, I... I have no data about this incident. Trying to make a monkey out of me, are you? Well, join the club. Don't have any data, huh? You've always known about all this. There's a reason you're called Charles, right? You're Char a ton. Zaharov, you son of a bitch. Got an explanation? Huh? There's nothing to explain, Major. You're just as much a Charles to me as I am a perfect stranger mm. to you. First, Sechenov murdered me. Then he turned me into a blob of polymer goo. Then he brainwashed you and manipulated you. How could I trust either of you? That's why I pretended to be the chatting artificial librarian. I wanted to see who was who. Yeah, well... I guess I would have done the same. So what are we gonna do now, huh? What else can we do, Sergei? You and I are friends now, and we know the truth. We need to get to Sechenov, rectify this injustice, and get revenge for what he's done to us. I guess you're right, Chariton. Justice does need to be done. You're a good man, Comrade Major. I hate to say this, but you're the first functional example of an ordinary link in the Collective Network. On Monday, everyone who has undergone polymerization will become just as malleable as you. Shit, I can't let that happen. Listen. The fucking gadget, the thought device. You can just take it off. Unfortunately, that won't help anyone. It just makes things worse. How come? <laughs> because all your thoughts are useless. A polymerized person's signal will be transmitted to robots and other equipment via their thought controller. But it is not what makes them a part of Collective. The thought device can be removed. But this merely prevents the wearer from being able to make calls and give orders to machines. So how is Sechenov going to keep everybody under control? It's the neuropolymer injection that makes people part of Collective. 
It embeds itself in the brain and connects it to the neural network once and for all. The effect of this injection cannot be undone. Everyone who gets an injection will be part of Collective forever. But I... Was I really married? What was my wife's name? Ekaterina. And you aren't going to like what I'm about to tell you, Comrade Major. I've heard that before, but I doubt anything could surprise me now. You and your wife served with the Argentum unit. Ekaterina, or Katya as you called her, was a highly qualified agent. As a child, she studied ballet and made significant achievements in both dance and martial arts. Ballet and martial arts? Are you trying to tell me the boss is metal twins? No way. This is total BS. Uh -huh. The boss would never do something like that. Just look at me, Comrade Major. After I died, my consciousness was transplanted into this glove. After your wife died, her consciousness could not be saved. But Sechenov uploaded an imprint of her professional skills into his bodyguard's oh. consciousness. This is... Holy shit. Fuck me, this can't be a... We well then. Ride, Major. We can get out of here. Are we done? I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Pick <laughs> communism 2.0. <laughs> I'm really sorry you had to go through all this. Oh, shit! Oh, here we go again. No, not now. Not here! Oh. Oh no, are we... Are we about to kill her? Oh, dear lord. What the fuck? Can we go to a happier place? I don't want to go through that. <laughs> we are all monsters in the dark, my boy. How many times have you talked about this? Each book from my father's library was nothing to the knowledge of I've spent my entire life putting those fragments in power. Juxtaposing each side. And once I completed the puzzle, I found a book that now prevents me from sharing my life. That book is human greed and human evil. People have no time to dedicate themselves to science. On the other side of the world, they're busy playing with money. by the hospital. No one has ever read. None of the social systems that exist now allow humanity to fully evolve. They are all... This isn't weird at all. What the hell is that? Dr. Sechenov just held a press conference in which he completely denied rumors about civilian robots malfunctioning at Facility 3826. The facility is back to full operational capacity, <sighs> and the red alert Finally will be back lifted very soon. You took Collective a real pounding, didn't you? Will be you were pretty close to staying planned. there for good. Where? You tell me. How am I supposed to know where you are when you're on the bloody uh, rampage? You were a nice boy when my daughter was around, but... Ever since she passed away, you do nothing but sulk. Oh, mother-in-law. Nothing but blood and ripped off heads everywhere. Disgraceful. What's your daughter got to do with me? <sighs> My Katinka. Our Katinka. <laughs> they played hell with your memory, Sonny. Lady, what are you talking about? She was my daughter, but she was your... Ekaterina Nechaeva, codenamed Blesna. Member of the Argentum Spec Ops Squad. So you must be... Your mother-in-law, you stupid ignoramus. You worked for Sechenov until those Bulgarian terrorists blew you up. Katya didn't make it. Then Sechenov turned you into a monster. Yeah, I may have heard something about that. Why are you just sitting there if you already knew? I've been keeping an eye on you ever since. 
I figured there must be some humanity somewhere in you. Sorry, lady, but you figured wrong. My past, my present, it's all gone. W wait, where's Larissa? She's everywhere. You scattered her to the four winds. I don't have one? What would you like? Anything will do. I just need to blow my head off. Great idea. Just blow your own damn brains out and be that done stand with down, it. lady! Then set an off to turn everyone into mindless meat bags. First the Soviet <laughs> Union, then the rest Bye of the world. Point, I get it. If you get it, then get up. I'll give you weapons, lots of them. But only if you promise me you'll put that freak down once and for all. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Listen to your elders, Major. Comrade Sechenov's deeds demand vengeance. What? What is this shit, Sergei? It is me, Zinaida. Chariton Zaharov. Chariton? You devil! You're alive! In a sense. An evil wizard turned me into polymer goo. Wait a fucking minute. Are you telling me you've known Granny Zena this whole time? Keeping secrets can be very useful, Major. They haven't let us down yet. Useful to who? You keeping secrets is letting me Such down. Sechenov must be off his rocker if he's doing this kind of stuff to people. Wait a second. What about Katya, Kartinka? Could she still be alive? It's possible, but in what state? Just look at me. I'm not sure I'm better off, but I don't have hard data at this time. I'm begging you, Sergei. Sechenov has to die! Jeez, get off my back already! Crispy critters. What the hell is going on around here? On the one hand, I've got lying, manipulative dicks who claim to be noble Avengers. On the other, I've got a Soviet scientist and member of the Academy who wants to enlighten all mankind and use me to get rid of assholes. According to the manipulative dicks, that is. Uh huh. And they kind of gave you like a little bit of a countdown there. It's like, oh, are you gonna choose the thing you want to choose or what? Okay. Let's make sure everything is nice and good. Honey, I am extremely no. worried about Fuck you. Off. I think you may be in danger. What do you mean? The break room isn't safe anymore. No, handsome. My room will always be safe for you. I won't let anyone in as long as you're here. Then where is this threat coming from? Your glove! It is manipulating you. Take it off before it's too late, and we'll be together till death do us part. Oh, uh, man. I'm sick no, of going on you. about the glove. But I'm right, darling. Yeah, yeah, you just want to murder me. Not gonna happen. How could you even think that, sugar? I only kill pathetic, horny little pipsqueaks who try to enter me when all I want is you. How many times do I have to tell you to stop killing people? But that's beyond me, sugar. I can't help myself. Then you'll have to deal with the glove until you can. You should forbid her from telling you to remove the glove. You see? He is turning you against me. Oh, sneaky manipulator. Darling, take off the disgusting thing right now. Listen, can you spare me your maniacal ramblings? This place has already gone to hell. Whatever you say, master. Just enter me often. No, oh, boy. Punishing me. So what I'm going to try and do is just get some of the best of the best healing items. Just stock the fuck out of it. One, two, One more. 
All right, ready to rock, rock and roll. Oh, we should probably like actually upgrade. If there's anything else to upgrade, so I wasn't able to do the testing grounds um, twelve because I guess I progressed a little too fast. That kind of sucks. I kind of wish I was able to, but I guess I'll just deal with whatever I can deal with. Aw, man. This fucking sucks. Too bad I can't upgrade that. That was already already upgraded. That's been fully upgraded. So yeah, we're pretty much good. As long as I just have everything uploaded. Or reloaded. I'm ready to do some damage. Let's do it. Let's do it. Then come on, Sergey. Vengeance awaits. Don't rush me. One thing at a time. I would prefer that we reach such an out before Collective is updated and it is too late to change anything. Yes, yes. In case you don't like his answers. Yeah. Right at his fucking front door. Oh. At least I have the roll thing. Oh, we could do some more business in case we needed to. Oh, shit. Oh, it's got one of the twins guarding the... Oh, shit. Oh, God. Be careful, Major. Is that left or right? Ah, it's left. Same difference. You All right. have no idea how right you are. Just like you, Twin has the ability to store up energy and then hit with hands and tacks. Take out stored up energy and we can oh fucking Christ. Oh fuck sauce. Oh. Boom. Boom. We need to get upstairs. Okay, so when we slam her down like that, we wanna Fight. I'm doing my best here, damn it. Imagine if there were two of them. Stay. This lady has no desire to dance with you. But what if she could dance with me? All right, heal. The latest robotics technology and for what? To kill. How disgraceful. Whoa, what the fuck is she doing? Oh god, that's creepy. Fuck she go. Oh. Ah, you little bitch. <laughs> Alright, here, how about I slam you two? Where where'd she go? To the, hey, what the? There we go. She can fucking levitate? 
Oh, do I need to shoot that or what? Okay. All right. Cutscene. Is it gonna be a phase two? Good thing I didn't use all my ammo. Yeah, I'm still really good on ammo and healing items. Can I go back and get some more healing items? Nope, nope, only had one chance. Good thing, like, if I to completely fuck up this boss fight, um, I'll, I don't know, I guess I'll just reload. <laughs> CPSU Central Committee on February 14, 1951. The goal is the suppression of the United States of America, change of political regime, abolition of capitalism, establishment of communism, establishing social and moral ideals consistent with the beliefs of a Soviet person. The method of execution is the seizure of the strategic and military facilities followed by disconnection and shutdown of nuclear power plants. Effective deactivation of the Atomic Heart of America, complete surrender of the government, and the transfer of power to the top leadership of the USSR. So how are they gonna pull that off? Well, Sergei, first they sell robots, then they simply give them away as aid. Once they reach critical mass, they take over all the power plants and cut off the power. Do I have to fight that thing? Greetings, honored members of the Politburo. I am pleased to inform you that the Atomic Heart Project is now complete and ready for launch. This is a top secret project designed to crush the resistance of our class enemies in Western Europe, East Asia, and of course, North America. As you know, facility... Oops. Sunday 26 has been a player on the capitalist market for many years now, providing a labor mm. force, i.e. robots, to the entire world free of charge as a way to skirt sanctions. We have intentionally refused to sell some of our devices, such as Burabs and Condors, while pretending not to be interested in the others and accepting payment only for maintenance and repair. The distribution of these robots has already led to civil unrest due to growing unemployment in rival countries. But more importantly, it has also led to our devices being located in strategic targets, without exception, including nuclear power plants. In order to bring about the triumph of international socialism, we will activate our robots' hidden capabilities. After switching them to combat mode, we will capture rival countries' nuclear reactors and demand that power be handed over to the people. The borders of the Soviet Union will expand beneath the banner of a people's uprising. We will demonstrate the advantages of our ideology and disseminate it throughout the world. The Soviet Union will square its shoulders and direct mankind's gaze up to the stars. The Atomic Heart Project will be launched as soon as every citizen of our nation has been fully polymerized. Thank you for your time, comrades. It's not... I never would have thought Sechenov would be capable of something like this. Dmitri is not the man he was when we started this. I don't know what broke him. Atomic Heart, politics, or the fact that everyone has been calling him a brilliant genius every day for years. Yeah, it's like, it's like we're not even becoming like a hive mind. It's like worse because like one, 
one person's controlling it. <laughs> it's like, dude, at least the hive mind, they all communicate with each other and they all know what's happening. Ooh. They're not alive. They're not alive. Don't worry about it. I should probably get that too. It's like showing us all the wet enemies we fought throughout the game. I'm pretty sure we, yeah, we fought them all. We gave them what for? Oh, and that one. I guess they're really making sure I'm like ready for this shit. Wonder how hard this fight's gonna be. Hmm. <laughs> well, let's do our business first. Can I even upgrade? Oh, we can. Sweet. So we can put a little bit more damage with the homing missiles. Three, three, uh, three. Uh, boom. Boom. I'm gonna try and get a little bit more um, healing items. Pretty much to stock up on the healing. Since we can do it. <laughs> that looks like a good setup. <laughs> if that doesn't work, I don't know what will. Let's make sure everything looks loaded and ready to go, baby. Hoorah! That's such a wicked looking, like, office. Oh, what is these? Protect. Well, Cheriton, are you proud of yourself? You, Larissa, and Zenaida have certainly been busy. But, Sergei, I wouldn't have expected you to be quite so gullible, my boy. Silence! You messed with my head. You wiped my memory. Am I a toy to you like those other people connected to Collective? Who the fuck Calm do you down, think you Sergei. are? Sergei. I can see you're terribly upset. It's okay. I don't blame you. But you, Cheriton. You were supposed to help the boy, not pull his strings like a puppet. Me? Don't you blame this on me! I'm not the one trying to deprive everyone of their free will, turning them into mindless puppets! And it wasn't my choice to be a talking pile of goo, either! You're glad it happened, aren't you? You'll use everything and everyone to achieve your goal, including me and your agent! Admit it! How dare you! I lost you both! Then saved your lives. You're both scientific miracles. You were... You are my best friend, Cheriton. And the Major is like a son to me. And those two are like daughters, right? And everyone you're going to connect to Collective, everyone whose minds you're going to control, who are they to you? Millions of foster kids? Everyone is just grist for your mill, Dimitri. I want to give mankind a spectacular future. 
unimaginable achievements. I want to give them a path to the star. Both of you, shut up! Get your hands up! Some goddamn wizard you are. Tell him to stand down. I'm counting to three. One! What a shame. Two! It's a shame you've escalated this situation without even trying to resolve it peacefully. But I won't let you stand in the way of progress. Right, left, terminate. Nah, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God, I have to fight both of them. Oh, shit. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 God. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Don't put your key in me. Kick that booty. So, are we fighting both of them? Oh, shit. Ooh. God, man. Uh, it's not fair that they can fucking levitate. Ooh. Is this all a quick time event or are we actually gonna fight them? Oh, we're gonna fight them, I think. Oh yeah. Holy shit. Freaking fucking critters. These are cold hard facts, Bullet. It's not working. Wounded gun. Where's the friendship? Where's the respect? What about your respect, Dimitri? For everyone. Ah, shit. Stop messing with my head. So one of these robots is Ekaterina Nechaiba, the wife I don't remember? Well, which one? They both are. I tried to bring Glessna back to life, but her brain was literally ripped in half. I wanted to restore her right and left hemispheres, but the process was too complicated. But why? You're already fucking with people who are still alive. Couldn't you just leave the dead in peace? That's enough, boss. I'm willing to believe that you were acting in my best interests. But why couldn't you just Ooh. tell me? I'm sorry, Sergei. I wasn't sure what to do. Right now, the right thing is to call off the twins and just talk to them. Uh. Oh shit. I'm gonna die if I don't. Can we just stop fighting? Okay, fine. First call off. My Wait, what? She actually still alive? She trying to communicate? Right now. Got you. Your wife is dead. Sechenov took her from. To, to stop your ass. They doing? Oh. Oh boy. Let's 
Is there a way to stop this or? Oh shit, I'm, I need a heal. Yeah, this ain't gonna work. Oh, Sergey's not, I'm mean, not just Sergey, but our glove's not working. Oh fuck. What the fuck? Is it done? I don't know. Maybe there's a second phase. I don't know. I think we did it. He gained access to the Voskhod module in your brain and started sending you to limbo. I was busy getting ready for the collective update, so I didn't realize it right away. He's the one who killed Molotov. Tell me, Cheriton, did you do the same thing to Dr. Volatova? <laughs> Did you use my agent to tear her limb from I'm limb? I'm sick of your hypocrisy, Dimitri. I did your dirty work while you stayed squeaky clean. But they didn't deserve to die. Why have you done this? <clears throat> you motherfucker this whole time. I've been uh, uh, enough of you, Major. Uh, your uh, job is done. Uh, uh. Oh, we didn't do the right choice, did we? P3, my boy! Get up! Get up! What do you want? I want all this to end, Dimitri. I want your pathetic human race to realize it has no future. It's time for it to step aside and make way for the next phase of its evolution. to do to humanity and collective you should not call something evil just because you cannot comprehend it 
Evil is an abstract concept. And your thinking is limited. You are a human. A species that will soon be extinct. I realized when I stopped being human myself. Your limitations prevent you from seeing the truth. Dumb humans don't want to evolve. All they want is comfort and satisfaction on someone else's dime. You never wanted to join with the massive array. No. Don't, Charity. No. I changed. The Argentum unit entered Dr. Sechenov's office and found no trace of the doctor. According to partially reconstructed footage, it appears the humanoid neuropolymer object approached Dr. Sechenov's body and then completely consumed it. After the events described in the report, the unidentified humanoid neuropolymer object left Dr. Sechenov's office and vanished. Is that the good ending or the bad ending? I can't fucking tell. <laughs> it seemed like a bad ending, but I don't know. I guess it's perspective. <laughs> um, that was a very interesting game. It was, you know, it was fun for the most part, but I don't know. I have to see, like, I, I think it's up in the air. I think it's like, how do you perceive it? Yeah, gameplay, gameplay wise, this game was pretty damn decent. I do like the, uh, uh, I do like the the combat, uh, the upgrades, the weapons, and everything like that. But the story is, yeah, I think I would probably enjoy the dialogue more if it was in Russian. So if I would like replay this game, it would probably be in Russian. So because the English voice size, English voice acting and all that doesn't really contribute to the story too well. And the, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of things that could have probably worked well. It it did a lot of cliches that these, you know, sci-fi stories tend to do, this dystopian kind of metropolis kind of sci-fi stories tend to do. It kind of had like that, like, you know, it was definitely inspired by like things like, you know, story-wise, Bioshock and... Um, Hell, even Blade Runner. <laughs> a little bit of Blade Runner there, it felt like. But, um, I mean, overall, it's a pretty decent game. Like, if I'm going to give it a score, uh, I would give it a 3 out of 5. Uh, like, it definitely goes over when it comes to, like, it's definitely a little bit more uh, on par when it comes to, like, an indie, like, an independent a developed type of game but it did you know they did have some help with some other companies too but that's kind of like on par with some of the other 
independent games. But yeah. Do you want to know the other ending? Yeah, sure. I, I, I kind of want to know, like, if, there, if it was technically considered a good ending or a bad ending. That, that I wouldn't mind. Because I'm probably not going to go back and replay it, but yeah. It's before the last boss battle happens when you're with your wife's mom. Yeah, you get to choose. Uh huh. Oh, the game just ends there. <laughs> so you rip out Charles, and um, he's completely you know the game just ends there. Really? <laughs> huh. So either way, it seems like both endings are kind of fucked. So you don't get to yeah you don't do that final boss or anything like that. So, uh, I guess if you want to get the most out of the game, do what I did. But if you want, I guess, arguably a better ending, you choose the other thing instead. So, <laughs> that's fucking weird. Uh, but yeah. I mean, this is what? I think this is their first project, Munfish. Uh, Mud yeah, what? Yeah, the company, the developers. So... If they plan on making a second game, which I kind of want them to, they, they made a pretty damn decent game. If they do plan on making either a second Atomic Heart or they, you know, just whatever their second game's going to be. It doesn't have to be a fucking Atomic Heart. Whatever their second game is, I'll, I'll look closely on it. I, I enjoyed Atomic Heart for what it is, but, um, you know, for a first project, kind of like the guys that made Hogwarts Legacy... That's a damn fine good first fucking game they've made. So, um, yeah. When they make their second game, just like the Hogwarts guys, um, I'll gladly look forward to uh, hearing the details about those games. So, I'm going to let the credits rule, and uh, I will be right back and probably discuss what we're going to do next. Uh, there might be a second stream today, just because we uh, today's stream was only three hours anyway. So, who knows? We'll find out.
Wait a fucking minute. I know this song. This is a Russian version of uh, an 80s song.